lovelies, I hope you're all well. So hopefully by now you all know about the new Maker Tips and Blades. If you don't know, I have done a release video on these and today we're going to look at a project for the fine debossing tip so excited by these tips and blades. So we are going to make a very simple uh, gatefold card. We're going to be using foil poster board today with our fine debossing tip. So the first thing I've got here is just a square and then I want to go to shapes and I'm just going to get a triangle. I'm just going to rotate my triangle. I want to unlock it. I'm going to make the height four inches so it's the same height as my square and I'm going to make the length 3.5 so we've got a little bit of overlap between the two and then the other thing I want to get is just another square and I'm just going to come in and just take the tip off of my triangle so I'm then going to slice that so that will then sit on our square. We're gonna attach them all together um, and do all of that in a moment, but I just wanted to make my fold. So then I'm going to go to images and I've just typed in roses and I really like this image here. So I'm just going to insert images. So I just want to duplicate my triangle because I want the solid piece there. I'm then going to bring my image over onto it and we're going to highlight and slice. We're then left with these three pieces, this one we can get rid of. So then I want to come to line type, you want to make sure that you are set to maker and we're going to change them to deboss and then we can see which one we prefer. So I'm going to keep this one and then with my solid piece I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to go to flip and I'm going to flip horizontal. I just want to change the colours on these so they're easier to see. Sometimes the black can be quite hard to see. I also want to duplicate this one and again I'm going to flip and I'm going to flip horizontal. So this one's going to sit on top of this one and this one is going to sit on top of this one. I want to bring my triangles over to my square and I'm just going to overlap them slightly. I'm then going to highlight all of them. I'm going to go to align and I'm going to align top. I then want to bring my debossed bit over and I want to bring this one over and then I'm just going to highlight each triangle and I'm going to align and I am going to centre. I can then hide these for a moment but I want to keep everything in the positions they're in. I'm then going to go to shapes, I'm going to grab a score line and I want to make that four inches in height and again, I want to duplicate it. I then want to bring my score line over and I want to place it just on those folds. Again, I can then hide the score lines but keep everything in place. I'm then going to highlight my square, my two triangles, and I am going to weld them together. I'm then going to bring back my score lines I'm going to arrange my welded piece to the back and I'm also going to bring back my debossing pieces. I'm going to highlight all of it and I'm going to attach them. So what's going to happen is my maker is going to use the scoring wheel to score, then it's going to use the fine debossing tip to deboss and then it will cut out my foil poster board. I want to make that a little bit bigger so we're just going to increase the width to 11 inches and we can then go to make it. So you can see it says score, find, deboss and cut so we can go to continue. We are selecting our maker today. These tools only work in the maker. 
Now I went through all the materials that you can use with your fine debossing tip in my announcement video, but we'll very quickly just go through those again. So you've got foil poster board, heavy chipboard, craft board, light chipboard, matte board, four ply, metallic poster board, poster board, medium cardstock. There is tooling leather. Now with the tooling leather, they're saying that it's leather that's been wet with a damp cloth and then left to dry. I don't know whether this is gonna work with the Cricut leather or whether we need a different leather. So I'm actually going to order some different leathers and kind of play with it and then let you all know. Also works with deluxe paper, heavy watercolour paper, vellum and balsa wood 116th and 332 which is really exciting and I really want to give the wood a go as well. We're going to be using foil poster board today. So first of all we need to load our double scoring wheel, then we need to put in the fine deboss tip and then we need to put in our fine point blade. Now if you didn't watch my announcement video, these new tools all come with the quick swap housing. So what that means is if you've already got your scoring wheel, you do not need to buy the housings for these new tips and blades. They will fit in that scoring wheel housing. If you don't have the quick swap housing with your scoring wheel, then you will need to buy one of these tips or blades with the housing and then the rest of them you just need to get the tip or the blade. So I've got some foil poster board here and I'm just going to come in with my brayer, my Cricut brayer, and I'm just going to secure that to my mat. So I've got three tools for this project. I've got my scoring wheel, I've got my fine tip debosser and I've also got my premium fine point blade. I've got housings for all of them but as I say you don't need them so if you've only got say your scoring wheel housing you're just going to press the button and remove the scoring wheel. You would then take your deboss tip, you're going to push the button down on the quick swap housing you're going to slide the deboss tip into the quick swap housing and then let go of the button and that is then in there. piece of velcro or something to make sure that it opens and closes and then of course if you had an invite you could then glue that on but that debossing is just beautiful the 
detail in it is amazing. 